robot tutorial for beginners hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys how you can use quillbot quillbot is something we often only know as a grammar checker or as a summarizer but quillbot is a far more powerful tool it has eight different types of tools all in one platform they have a paraphraser grammar check plagiarism check, AI detector, flow, which is their own version of writing with AI, translator, citation generator, and summarizer. So you have a lot of powerful tools that you can find all in Quillbot. Now to get started, simply head on over to quillbot.com and you can click on the top right icon over here and then click on login slash sign up. Then you're going to proceed with either your email address, Google, Facebook, or Apple. And once you've done that, you're going to choose your account that you want to sign up with. And that is all you have to do. So once you've done that, you can now get started with using Quillbot. Now, first off, we're going to do some writing with Quillbot and then I'm going to show you guys some of the other features. And not only do we have amazing features on Quillbot, but Quillbot also has a Chrome extension. So with the Chrome extension, you have the ability to fix things on the go. So if you're writing an email, if you're sending a message, you can correct it as you go. So first off, we're going to go with Flow, which is the Quillbot AI writer. And you will see you have different options to create projects or work on templates. You even have a smart start option where you can describe what you want to write. Uh, you can choose to write essays, blogs, or research papers. And let's say I want to write a research paper on the topic of job crafting, innovation, and leader humor like this. And now I can just search for that and it will provide me content for my research paper. So you guys can see it's provided me with an outline. Now within this outline, firstly, we have a introduction. Then we have job crafting as in, you know, our first variable for the research. We have the second variable, the third variable, and then a conclusion. Within that, Quillbot also provides me with subheadings that I can write on. And on the top, you have a simple word style editor that can help you in writing and citing. Now, within that, you can proceed with suggesting text. So if you place your cursor anywhere, you can get started with uh, suggested text. So I wanted to write the definition in background. And all I have to do is click on suggest text. And the AI write is going to fill in the content for me. So like this, I can fill in the content. You guys can see on the right, you have flares again, which is an AI based tool where you can generate ideas, start a new paragraph, add examples, add counter examples and offer a new viewpoint. So if I want, I can proceed with a new viewpoint over here and so on and so forth. Now, this is just one tool within Quillbot. On the right, we have a research tool where I can ask it questions and it can answer my questions. And then I have a general search URL. Then we also have sources, notes, and the AI review. So you guys will see some advice by the AI on how you can improve the current writing. Now, this is just one project that we have created with Quillbot. If you want to further improve this, you can do this very easily by going ahead. And if you want to import from MS Word or Google Docs, you can also do that. But I want to make this a bit more interesting and I want to show you guys some of the other features. So we have a citation generator. Now, instead of having to cite everything manually, you can easily cite any type of book, article, web page with a citation. For example, if I search for Time Magazine, so you guys can see this is the Time Magazine and let's say this is the article that I want to cite. So I can just copy the link of this article, go back into Quillbot 
and I can just paste that and then I can just ask it to cite the article and this is how the citation is going to look like. It has the title of the author, the date, the title of the article, as well as the link to the article. Now below that you also have different styles of article linking. So if you want to use APA or MLA, that's up to your personal preference. Now above that you also have a translator. So let's take any text. I'll just type in my own text. So hi, my name is Lily. And after that, I can choose the language I want to translate this to. Let's say I want to translate this to Korean. I have a Korean translation. I can also copy this text and paste it. And I can also do a audio like this. So I can do a audio play of what this is going to sound like once it is being played. Now, this is going to help you in just listening to the sound and understanding what, you know, the per, you know, your sentence is going to sound like in the other language. Additionally, they also have a really great system where you can like or dislike a translation. So if you do any cross checking and you found that, OK, this translation is accurate, then you can leave a like. So the system is trained in a better way so they know what translates to what, what translation works the best. Now, below that, now after that, we have a summarizer. So if we have a lot of text, for example, we can summarize it into different points. We can do a custom summary where we can generate conclusions, make it academic, write a title form. Uh, we can also do bullet point summaries as well as paragraph summaries. So I'll just copy this article. Let's say there is this article over here and I'm just going to copy the content like so. And then I'm going to go back into the Quillbot and I'm just going to write it up. This is a bit too long. I'm going to have to make it slightly shorter because we are currently using the free version of this particular, this particular tool. And just like that, once I have typed it in, you guys will even see it provides you with some selected keywords. I want to do a custom summary and I want to generate a conclusion and we can do that with the premium version of Quillbot. But if I want points, you guys can see this is the point version. If I want a paragraph summary, I can just go ahead and select paragraph. And now it is generating a paragraph summary. So instead of it being this long, now my text is only two paragraph, three paragraphs long and I can easily see what the article has written. Now, after that, we also have a plagiarism check. This is only available for the premium version, but we also have an AI detector. So we can paste in our text and see what has been AI, uh, you know, written with AI. So I'm just going to type in, you know, the article. I've just pasted in the same article because I'm just going to use it as a reference over here. It just removed the entirety of it, but we're going to have to scroll down a bit like so and i'm just going to remove some of the excessive text over here like this so we can proceed with our free version like so and once i've done that i can click on analyze text and you will see ai generation ai generated and refined human written and ai refined and completely human written so this article is completely human written as we can see now above that we have two of the most popular features we have our paraphraser and grammar check so the grammar checker allows us to check all of the um, mistakes that we might make and they even have a chrome extension version which allows you to check your grammar on the go and you also have a paraphraser to change the tone of your voice so if you want it to be more fluent academic formal um, expanded creative you can add all of that and quillbot will provide you with a new variation of your text so i hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to get started with quillbot if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe.